The purpose of this video is to try to illustrate to you what many Israelis feel deep inside when thinking of their Arab neighbors. Warning, this video may involve facts and images that are difficult for some people to see. 90 years ago, on August 24, 1929, a bloodthirsty Arab mob in Hebron raped, tortured, stabbed, hanged, burned, and sexually mutilated 67 of their Jewish neighbors. An Arab woman crying for help knocked on the door of the Gershon family, the local pharmacists who had served Jews and Arabs alike for decades. When the door opened, an angry mob rushed in. 20-year-old Esther was raped and murdered by dozens of rioters. The mother, Zehava, died in agony after her hands were cut off. The father, too, was tortured and murdered. The baker, Rabbi Noch Immerman, was burned alive inside his own oven. When the rioters broke into Shlomo and Nachmi Unger's home, they thought the couple were Christian tourists. When asked, Shlomo stood straight and answered, I am a Jew. He and his wife were immediately slaughtered. Children ages 3, 4, and 5 were indiscriminately murdered in front of their pleading parents, and there are 67 stories of this kind. The only reason we are talking about a pogrom that took place 90 years ago is the fact that many Israelis today are convinced that nothing has really changed. <laughs> To this day, the call to murder Jews is embedded in the Palestinian education system, society, and in their psyche. Their children are taught that killing a Jew is an honorable thing to do, which will elevate them to the status of national heroes. Jews are portrayed by Muslim preachers as the sons of pigs and monkeys. <laughs> And the world is silent. There are endless video documentations on this. Just go to the Palestinian Media Watch website. Listen to the leaders of Hamas. Now, why should we doubt their seriousness? As we mark the 90th anniversary of the Hebron Massacre, you need to understand that many Israelis continue to believe that Arab hatred is still boiling as ferociously as it did on a Shabbat morning in Hebron, 1929. Thank you for watching.